Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. This time I'm doing a review on the uh, McFarlane Toys Batman Forever, the DC Multiverse line. Um, this is my first movie figures uh, for the Batman movies uh, that I got. I kind of regret not getting uh, the Dark Knight uh, figures just because, um, <laughs> you know, uh, I had them already. Um, and I was really spending my money on all the things like you know masses of the universe star wars whatever so it was you know because i already had them i didn't get them but that's the only thing that i kind of missed from dc but i got this batman forever stuff um not my favorite batman movie but it was a fun movie to watch back in 1995 i believe it was summer of 1995 if i'm not mistaken but um the figures are okay um and as you can see have all of them like that the selling point on that robin was the cape i don't know why batman wasn't like that you know with the uh with the wire in it that you can post the uh the cape i wish batman was like that um but nice nice batman figure the the builder figure is oh my god really really awesome so yeah, I am really thinking of doing something for these movies. Batman and Robin, I didn't get those figures. I, I really don't care for that too much. Um, just the look of Mr. Freeze, that would be the only thing that I want for that movie. But other than that, not, I'm, I, don't, I don't really care for that. But I, I am hopefully they'll release. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure they're going to release Batman Returns and then Batman because I think they're going back in time. Um so yeah um and i was trying to see how much are the the dark knight figures from mcfarland and now they're selling it for quite too much money that i'm really not going to do that uh, but if i find a few you know i'll probably get them you know uh, like i don't know hopefully batman but mm, might not be able to get that one <laughs> and i want and that joker figure looks really awesome but anyway, let's talk about these figures, uh, Batman Forever. Uh, as you can see, I got, well, first the uh, cards, the trading cards. And then they got different stats or bios for each one. So if you want to read them, you can pause it, you know, you can pause it and read it if you like. But yeah. There's a Two Face, Harvey Dent, um, I, the, the, I know Tommy Lee Jones. He he was a he, he is a good a good actor, but the portraying of of the of Two Two Face it, it wasn't really what I was expecting. Uh, it sounded more like the Joker to me. And then there's Jim Carrey, which he did a good job as a Riddler. It was pretty fun in that movie. All right, so I guess let's start over here. The, you know, the Batman is the same for every figure. You know, you just got to build a figure in the back over here. And then that's how you build it. Um, that's pretty much all, but it's pretty much it. Uh, so the Riddler first. That's Jim Carrey's. Um, I think they did a good job on the face. I don't know if they're going to release the other ones. And uh, let me see. Yeah, pretty cool figure. Not the best figure, but nice representation of uh, Jim Carrey. Look at his shoes over here. With all those um, question marks all all throughout his uh, suit over. and this little thing there was a bomb and they uh, invaded the, the, the bat cave I remember so it's done pretty good uh, all the figures come with these stands right here but you know I, like I said I don't really need them I mean I put one for Batman and Robin but for too bad and, and, and the Riddler they, they stand pretty okay but you do get them and then 
it comes with interchangeable hands. So that's the Riddler. Tommy Lee Jones or, well, no, too, too bad over here. I really like, very accurate to the movie. Very accurate. Pretty awesome. Uh, I gave him that gun. You know, I had a, quite a few selection of of guns. I also had this one, but I think that one looks a little bit better. And I don't think I don't know if we're gonna get the uh the, his two mistresses uh one was oh, I forgot her name. The one that played in E.T. <laughs> I forgot her name, but uh it would it'd be nice if we, you know and if we get some goons also it'd be nice. But um, you know, articulation is a lot for all these figures, as you can see. Articulation everywhere. So yeah, that's him. He comes with two interchangeable hands, as you can see. But I prefer that one because it's got the coin. And uh, I don't think, I mean, unless I misplaced it, but I don't think it came with a gun. So I gave him one of these guns that I had laying around. I'm pretty sure that's from G.I. Joe's, one of my G.I. Joe's or whatever. But um, yeah, that's that. Then we go into the better two of the whole set, I would say. Um, Batman over here. Let me see, hopefully it'll focus, but there's uh, Val Kilmer's Batman which looks pretty awesome. I think this is the suit that he uses towards the end of the movie, if I'm not mistaken. So you can see articulation everywhere. It comes with two accessories. It comes with the grapple gun, and it does come with a battering. It also comes with two interchangeable hands, of course. Close fist and an open one. And it comes with that stain right there that all the multi-res figures come with. And then at the end we have Robin here. Looking really nice. You know, I'm just gonna, gonna post him with his closed hands, with his fists. But you do get quite a selection of different things over here. You got a uh, you got an open hand, or I guess he's he's throwing something. And he's got a pointing finger. And it looked like he should be holding, a uh, holding hands, but uh, I don't see no batterings or anything. So unless I'm like you know, unless I, I, I get, unless I misplaced them, but I don't think I did. Now Robin here, this the the. The best part for this rob before this robbing is the cape, which has got that uh, wire, so you can pose the cape to your liking. You know, pretty awesome. And yeah, the you know the the figure itself looks cool. There's a close up for robbing. This is Robin symbol right there, and I am using I'm, I'm using a, a stand, which I probably don't need it, but you know, just just you know just to show it off. And that's that's that. Oh, okay, I can't. You know, I guess I forgot to show you the belt buckle here for Batman. Yeah, nice Batman figure, I'll say. Um, uh, you know, the not bad figures, but yeah, so let's put this aside and I want to show you guys the best thing. Well, for, at least for me, I mean, for all the people, <laughs> they might disagree, but this bat right here looks really, really awesome, man. Really cool figure, man. It makes, makes this, um. Uh, uh, this a wave complete 
because of the detail on the figure, man. Look at this, looks really awesome. I'm gonna turn him around, and you can see all that detail on the wings. Looking really nice. I would like to incorporate this type of wings on Masters of the Universe stuff. Look at his hair. The texture is really, really awesome, man. Oh, nice figure, man. I really like it. So I'm gonna create a um, a shelf that is only gonna have Batman movies. You know, I might have to use Mattel's, you know, like the Dark Knight for the Dark Knight. But yeah. Man, he looks great. It comes with that st stand right here. Everything clicks like it's supposed to. Uh, McFarlane has, has come a long ways, you know, from like, for example, the Bane figure from the Dark Metal uh, comic comic book that, you know, the parts wouldn't, wouldn't stay. This clicks in very well, the two wings and the, uh, and the head, and then this stand right here, which is, isn't a ball joint. You can pose it if you want to, but it's a little too top heavy. The best way to pose it is like that and then you got some articulation here you know on the wings so very very cool but you know i think that's the best way to put it like that yeah like that pretty cool Pretty cool. I love it. So yeah, for a background, you know, a background piece right here. Uh, the only one that I see that is hard to stand a little bit is this too too bad. A little too hard to stand, but for the most part, yeah, you can get him to stand. You just gotta work with it for a little bit, but. There you go. Really cool figures. Now, they're not the best, but uh, at least for this movie, I think this figure's delivered for me at least. You know? Uh, let me put the little bomber here. In his holy hand. Yeah. This movie was okay. I mean, I, I I really like Batman Returns out of all of them. Um, out of the four, I think Tim Burton's uh, Batman Returns was the best, at least for me. You know, I, a lot of people are probably gonna disagree with me and say that Batman with against you know against the Joker, like the first Batman, you know, Michael Keaton and versus um, Jack Nicholson. Yeah, I, I like that movie. I really like that movie, but but I think Batman Returns was better. I don't know. If, I don't know why. I just like Batman Returns uh, a lot. Maybe maybe because of the snow. I don't know because of the, you know it was snowing all the time. It was kind of like a dark movie. I don't know. I just like that movie a lot, man. Anyway, um, so hopefully they release those figures, and I want to set my money aside to get those figures. You know, Jack Nicholson's Joker. No, Daddy and the Beatles, Penguin, Michael Keaton's Batman, can't wait for those. Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer's uh, Catwoman, oh man. But for right now, we got these ones right here. They look pretty cool. And at least for me, they look pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, uh, the hardest one to get was this guy right here. But I got it at toystalker.com. Uh, it's not, you know, just a retail store, but they did have it at a regular price, twenty four ninety nine. Because every other uh, retail store, um, there was it was sold out on and on eBay. It, it was going for almost forty dollars, so I was very happy to find them at the right price. I did have to pay, you know, some um, uh, shipping fees, but other than that, you know, it was not much to it. But anyway, that's it for this video. The uh, the the builder figure is the best thing for at least for me, um, but the figures are okay, you know, um, nothing wrong with them. And um, yeah, if you're a Batman fan, 
I mean, you you might be able to if you want you you gonna pass on this if you, if you if you don't like the the sh jo Joel Schumacher movies. But for me, this movie was alright, and I just wanted to see how how they look. I, I did it especially for the for also for the Batmobile, but the Batmobile is coming up, so hopefully, I'll get that Batmobile and and have this Batman Forever start Batman Forever stuff complete. Anyway, that's pretty much for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.